So hi guys, welcome to the clinical Vignet 3. So let's see the question. The question is that this character will not be able to perform. This character is not able to perform which of the following tests. So what is so special about this character actually? This character is having the artificial eye. Okay. So because this eye is a artificial eye or you can say this is a prosthetic eye. Okay. It is a prosthetic eye. Therefore, this person is a one-eyed person. Now, because the person is having one eye, there will be no binocular single vision. And therefore, there is no stereopsis. Very, very important. Therefore, no stereopsis. So, now on this basis, which test the person will not be able to perform? So, if you look at the options, the first is the Goldman perimetry. Now, if you look at this perimetry, perimetry is used for the visual field while the Ishihara's chart are used for the color vision. Amsler grid test, Amsler grid test is a macular function test. It's a macular function test and then we have the titmus fly test so this is a test of stereopsis now if you look at this person who is one eye there is no stereopsis okay so you can actually check the visual field of one eye you can do the color vision of one eye you can check the macula of one eye but you cannot do the stereopsis with the one eye and we know that the titmus fly test is for the stereopsis. Therefore, the answer to this question will be the titmus fly test. Now, if you look at this titmus fly test, there are certain things which are important here. Like if you look at this test, it consists of a booklet, something of this sort, which has the right side and it has the left side. And the person means the patient has to first wear these glasses which are called as the Polaroid glasses. The person has to first wear the Polaroid glasses. So with this Polaroid glasses on the patient will see this booklet. Okay. Now can you see there are two areas of this booklet right side and left side. Right side pay we will have the house fly. We have the house fly and always remember that this is used for the crude stereopsis. Crude stereopsis ke liye use hoga. While the left side where you can see the circles, the circles are inside the rhomboid and we have got the animals also. So we have the circles and the animals. This is used for the fine stereopsis. Now, how to do it? Wearing these Polaroid glasses, the person will look at the booklet. We will ask this person to hold the wings of the housefly. So, if this is a booklet and the person is not having the stereopsis, then he will pick this only. But if the person is having stereopsis, then he will pick the wings above the booklet. So, that is the beauty how you can see the crude stereopsis. Now, looking at the other test, they have talked about, they have talked about the Ishihara's test. So these are the Ishihara color plates. You can see this is used for the color vision. And they have also told you about the perimetry. So something about the perimetry also. See, the most important way how you take the visual field is this Humphreys field analyzer. Now, how to read that report? See this. Always remember that you have to see this report as if this is your visual field. So your right side will be the right visual field and your left side will be the left eye visual field. This is the most important point how you read this chart. Okay, this is the one. Now the other methods, we have the Goldman's explanation. Uh, Goldman's perimetry. We also have Goldman's explanation tonometer. Okay, so the same Goldman has discovered it. So goal, jo hai, jo goal hai, that is your Goldman's explanation, uh, Goldman's perimetry, 
वाइल इफ यू लुक एट दिस जहां पर स्क्रीन दिखता है द स्क्रीन वन इज द जेरम्स स्क्रीन दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द जेरम्स टेंजेंट स्क्रीन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द टेंजेंट स्क्रीन ठीक है now another method is this one now this is the clinical method so they can even ask you what is the bedside clinical method by which you are able to do the perimetry or the visual field so that is called as this confrontation method so the patient and the observer are confronting each other with the knees in line with each other and we will ask the patient to cover with the one eye so we will cover one eye and the opposite eye the patient will cover and we will actually the observer that means the doctor will pick a object and he will keep it in between the patient and the observer and from the periphery towards the center we will bring so because we are bringing it from the periphery towards the center so this is a kind of dynamic perimetry some are static perimetry jahan par object will be kept static while this is a dynamic perimetry a very important bedside test by which we are able to do the visual field so i hope you have understood the basic concept of this question what is the test of stereopsis about the titmus fly test and also about the different kinds of perimetry and the color vision charts so stay tuned for more of the clinical clinical vignettes happy ophthalmology